Hi everyone. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and discuss lab equipment that is used to heat compounds when we do chemical reactions. So the first type of heating device we have is a hot plate. And the benefit of a hot plate is it uses electricity to heat up objects so it doesn't have an open flame. So if you have something that is very flammable, like an alcohol that you don't want to have that open flame where you could have a fire, a hot plate is a much safer option. However, it doesn't get as hot as the Bunsen burner, so we need that other option as well. So Bunsen burners, which are very common and well-known for chemistry, are beneficial because they are used to heat objects to very, very high temperatures. So oftentimes over 800 degrees Celsius, which is much hotter than 800 degrees Fahrenheit. So Bunsen burners create very high temperatures, but we do have that open flame, which isn't always a great option. So in order to light that fire of our Brunson burner, one thing we can use is something called a striker. So basically you squeeze on the two metal um, pieces of wire and that creates a spark that we can then use to light the Brunson burner. Now something that we often use with Brunson burners are crucibles and lids. Okay, so the crucible is kind of the bowl shape, the lid is what goes on top. And these are often made out of porcelain, meaning that they're very, very fragile and break very easily. Um, but they're used to heat solid samples to very high temperatures. So if you have a solid that you want to heat up, you put it into the bowl, the cup, the crucible, and then you put the lid on top, which prevents the oxygen from getting in. In order to support that crucible over the flame, we use something called a clay triangle, which is pretty descriptive of the name. So we have the wire that actually is the support, but then we have clay that wraps around each of those um, wire pieces, and that helps to kind of buffer um, the holding of the crucible so that it nicely is suspended over the heat. And then we also have something called wire gauze. This can also be used to support objects when we're heating them and it can help diffuse heat from a Bunsen burner. So if we don't want in one small location but kind of spread it out a little bit more, the wire gauze can be used to help with that. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please let me know. Bye.